Welcome back. How do you light a quick light? That's what I want to look at today. I've got two friends with me here. I've got a CQ table lamp and a 327 lantern. Both of these are undated. They were made in the early 1920s at the Toronto factory. Both of them use the same type of burner and generator. You'll see they both have this looped Q99 generator. In the last video I pulled one off of a BQ, which is the bracket mounting version of this lamp and showed you how to rebuild it to remove the, the clogged packing and to put new packing in it. But how do you light it? Well, some people say to use a propane torch, but propane torches weren't readily available uh, on camping trips or in your living room back in the early 1920s. That'll work fine, but I don't take one when I'm camping. And if I've got one in the living room and want to light it up at night, uh, like this lamp here, I don't want to go out to the garage to get my propane torch, but I've got ma matches sitting by the fireplace. So that's exactly what I do. I light it the way Coleman said to. Two matches, strike them, hold them under the generator loop uh, until they, they're just about to burn your fingers and then open the valve. The other piece of advice that I see frequently on the internet is that before you, you put the matches under it, you wanna open the valve for a second and close it. Some people actually do that twice, saying it's to pre-charge the generator. Coleman didn't say to do that, and you really don't wanna do that. Um, the whole idea of preheating the generator is so that it doesn't flare up. Uh, you want uh, no fuel in the generator. Now this may have a little bit left in there if you've lit it recently. This was running not too long ago, so it may have a little gas left in there. But the idea is gas vaporizes at 98 degrees Celsius. So you want the generator hot. As soon as the gas hits it, it'll start vaporizing and the lamp will light up without flaring. If there's gas in the generator, as soon as the flame touches it, it's going to ignite but it's not vaporized yet, so you're gonna have a big flare up. It may not last very long, but that's what you're trying to avoid. So let's do this with two matches. Take out two for the quick light and two for the 327. These are already pressurized, I should say that first. On these, you simply unscrew the, the check valve, put your external pump on, pump it up and then screw the check valve down. Once it's pressurized, you're ready to light. Again, leave the valve closed. No need to add gasoline to it yet. Light the match. And we'll hold it under the loop here. It takes about 10, maybe 15 seconds. Basically, just about the time it's gonna burn your finger, that's when it's time to, uh, to open the valve. See that? Went poof for just a second. But now it's, now it's raining beautifully. We didn't have to worry about a flare up or anything like that. Put the shade on, ready to go for the evening in the family room. Now, the 327. You can see it's got that loop in there. It lights just the same way. We'll open up that lighting door in the mica chimney. Light our two matches. Put them in there and we'll hold them under the loop. I mean, because they're inside of the, the chimney there and there's less airflow, it doesn't burn quite as quickly. But that should be about enough. There's the lighting door. Lighting door. And there we go. Ready to light your campsite, ready to light your living room. Two of my favorites. I hope it helps you to enjoy yours as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.